Gude and welcome to the next episode of my YouTube playlist series Home Assistant Loves Voice. In the last episode we set up our Home Assistant in a fresh new VirtualBox based installation and activated demonstration entities we can play around with. So some switches and temperature values to ask the value for. And uh, in this video we will not <laughs> use voice technology, no speech recognition, no text-to-speech uh, to interact with Home Assistant. Why this? Because let's start with the textual input. Because if controlling your entities in textual form does not work, it will probably not work by voice either. So the first thing to test is this natural language understanding and processing in textual form. And this is what this video will be about. So, uh, as you can already see, we are inside our uh, Home Assistant installation with our demo entities and the rest is pretty plain fresh installation. So, lots of cool entities to play around with. Um, so, let's, for example, take a look at this switch, AC, so air conditioning. Normally, you can just activate it by the web UI here. So, let's turn it on or turn it off which is not really surprisingly that it's working. But let's take a look to the settings of AC switch and scroll a little bit down to this voice assistant configuration here. Let's click it here. And you can see we can expose this and obviously all the other entities to assist. So we can enable this entity or disable this entity to be used by voice control and home assistant. But why should you disable some entities from voice control? So there might be lots of good reasons. On the one side, maybe for security reasons. Maybe you have really critical entities in Home Assistant and you do not want to be switched them by voice by misunderstanding and speech recognition, for example. Another argument might be, let's say you have 100 entities activated for voice control. So this might be really a huge potential for misunderstanding. So a little error in speech recognition might turn off the wrong entity. So I would recommend you to just activate assistant or voice control functionality for these entities you would really like to use voice control for. But let's keep AC, so air conditioning, being exposed to voice control to assistant. And let's go back here, leave it, and to play around with textual control, we have this assist button in the upper right corner. So just click the button and you can see there's a drop down box for all your assistants. So you can have multiple assistants in one Home Assistant instance. By default, there's this Home Assistant as a default marked with the star character. And uh, how can I assist? So, for example, well, let's close this and so we can see the AC switch. And um, now let's say turn on AC. And as you can see, the switch has been turned on for air conditioning. And let's turn it off again. Turn off AC. And the switch is turned off. So, pretty simple. Um, but let's say I would like to call it air conditioning. So not AC, but air conditioning. So let's say turn on air conditioning. Hard word for me as a German speaker. Hmm. Why this? Because the entity is called AC. Home Assistant does not know that AC stands for air conditioning. So if I would like to say or text air conditioning instead of AC, I have to teach Home Assistant that the AC entity should be reachable under that alias, allies. I really should look this up how it's pronounced correctly. Please let me know in the comments. Uh, and that this entity should be reachable by air conditioning. So let's copy it here, close our assistant and go back to the settings for this specific entity voice assistance and here you can see you can add an alive uh, so let's click here and 
say this entity should be reachable with the word or the words air conditioning. And you can also add international. So if you would like to have multiple assistants in multiple languages, so in German, this might uh, be translated to uh, Klimaanlage. And uh, let's go back and open assist again. Turn on AC should work nevertheless. Yes, and now let's say turn off air conditioning. Let's take a look to this AC switch down below and run. Turned off the switch. So this alias for the AC entity named air conditioning is working. Now let's play around with the German word. So Klimaanlage, turn on Klimaanlage. Tada! Works as expected. Turn off AC. And as you can see, this is really pretty simple. And I really recommend you to try it at first on the textual level before struggling with microphone, speech recognition and text-to-speech. Things have to work on the textual input at first. So let's close our assist and go to the settings and here to the configuration voice assistance. And here you can see the default home assistant is configured for English language. You can add another assistant. You can configure lots of the components of so speech recognition, text to speech and wake word and so on. But we will come to this aspect in another video. First of all, I would like to show you this expose tab. And as you can see, we have 41 entities exposed. This is a link to this tab expose here. And you can see all these entities can be controlled by assistant because they are exposed to assistant. <laughs> so uh, as I would recommend you to disable this control for entities you would not like to be controlled by assist or voice control for security reasons and to reduce the risk of being misunderstood and to switch the wrong entity, uh, you can disable this functionality for specific entities. So in this example, let's go to AC. And as you can see, we have these two aliases here. And I would like to remove this from assistant or expose this from voice control or assistant control in general. So let's turn this off. Entity is not on this list anymore. Let's go back to the overview. Of course, you can still control it in the web user interface here. And um, let's go a little bit down so you can see it when assistant window is open. And as we disabled this exposure to uh, assist, this should not be able to be controlled by assist now. So let's test this. Turn on AC. So it does not work anymore. Uh, let's play around with the lies in German, so turn on Klimaanlage, Klimaanlage. No. So now you can see we disabled this from being controlled by voice or text. Uh, let's enable it again so we can do this here in the settings too. Voice assistance, click expose. expose. Okay, go back. Open Assistant. Let's say turn on Klimaanlage. And here we are. So I hope you liked that video. So please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell to not miss upcoming videos on this Home Assistant Loves Voice, today without voice, <laughs> uh, video series. And um, yeah, that's it for today. If you like, we might see us next time. Bye.